what's up you guys for those of you guys who are new to my channel i am the den elizabeth and most of you may know me from instagram maybe just youtube because i am that girl who lost 154 pounds naturally and so i just want to welcome you guys to my channel i'm trying to switch it up a little bit throw a little bit more lifestyle in it throw a little bit more of my workouts just being a full-time fitness trainer is very very busy i'm always busy a little bit tired at times but i want to get out as much content as i can just to show you guys a little bit of my lifestyle and just to show the reality of just being on a weight loss journey while also trying to help others reach their goals so today i am going to be doing a day in the life with me a vlog of what i eat in a day a little bit of it everything. go straight into it about just reality so i did not wake up early this morning i usually try to wake up at least an hour and 15 minutes before my first client that way i have time to do my hair i have time to read my book i have time to journal and then i have time to maybe vlog i have time to film and then i also have time to make my breakfast so i have a long routine that i like to do in the morning and this morning it just wasn't promised it just didn't happen as the way i wanted it to happen but that's okay because i had a nine o'clock appointment and then i don't have another one until 11 so i have an hour to create some content to catch up on my journaling and to catch up on my reading one hour to do it all Okay, so you guys, for breakfast, I had, um, I bought this uh, bread for the first time just because I want to, I don't know why, I get into this kick where I want to like try everything organic, I want to try everything whole grain, so I was in that kick and I wanted to find some more organic bread because I really had me feeling like I wanted to make avocado toast. I used to make avocado toast a long, long time ago and I just stopped for some reason, and so yesterday I tried it out just to see if it made me more full and satisfied throughout the day, and literally when I ate that avocado toast, I had the, this, I used this Dave's, Dave's Killer Bread, this is the thin slice white bread, let's move it back so y'all can see, it is 70 calories per slice, so if y'all are regular to my channel, I have not been doing the Honey Wheat Keto Bread. I'm the type of person where I like to do stuff for a long time until I just don't want to do it no more. So I'm on a kick where I don't want the Honey Wheat Keto Bread anymore. So I went and got this organic white bread done right. And definitely, baby, it's done right. I haven't tried it by itself. I, I did it with the avocado bread. I mean, the avocado. So what I did was I took two slices of this um, bread. I used egg whites. I fried them and I split it in half. And put half of the egg whites on one toast and half of the egg whites on the other. And then I just sprinkle a little bit of cheese on top. I'm really trying to ease off my dairy, y'all. Like, I wanted to get to the point where I'm literally only drinking, um, not drinking, eating egg whites and maybe yogurt. I'm really trying to ease off my dairy because first of all, y'all know they say the less dairy, the better your skin is. My skin has put up tremendously from the past. Like, it's really, really broken out. And so now I'm just trying to ease my way off cheese by not having a full slice, but having a little sprinkle here and there. So that's what I had for breakfast this morning. And I also added a strawberry and banana Dan and Life Fit yogurt. Let me show y'all what that is. This has become my go-to yogurt, y'all. I know the light is probably not good. It's clean. This right here is the Dan and Light and Fit Strawberry and Banana. It's 80 calories. You get 12 grams of protein. And this literally is my go-to yogurt. They used to have a honey yogurt. No, actually, it was the H-E-B brand. They had a honey yogurt that was literally my favorite. I don't know. I, apparently, you guys did not take my advice and go buy it enough because they took it off the stocks. So, I'm not able to get my honey, my honey yogurt as much as I like. But, I bought an alternative. So, let's show you that as well. So, I have this one. This is the Greek Greek Gods Honey and Vanilla Yogurt. Now, the only difference is this one is not as high in protein as the other one that I used to get. The other one I used to get, one serving was about 100 calories and you got at least 12 grams of protein. And this one, one serving is 200 calories and you get 7 grams of protein. But, baby, 
when i say this taste is literally amazing i love the way this tastes i ate it for a dessert the other day with some dark chocolate and some enlightened chocolate chip cookie dough bites i hope y'all taking notes so i ate that i ate this with um as a dessert and then i also added some granola which i probably do for my snack today add some honey almond granola into this for my snack i always like sweet treats y'all if y'all regular y'all know i love sweet stuff so this literally gets the job done so yep that's the new alternative that i got for my honey yoga but then i also bought some vanilla yoga because i could i was like maybe i could just add some honey into it good done but we shall see if it tastes as good as it's supposed to okay so yeah go ahead and snack these and so now i'm going to show you guys how my breakfast came out i was in a rush so one thing i realized is that my food is not as appealing as i want it to be maybe if i have more time to take my time to make it pretty but literally when i cook baby i'm trying to throw it down my throat i'm trying to eat I, I don't get time to make it pretty. So here is my breakfast. Okay, so as I mentioned earlier, I really haven't been taking a lot of time out of my day to learn myself more. And I noticed that by me learning myself more, a great way to do that is to write down my thoughts. Some days I have days where I literally be so stuck in my head that I can't even function. And so by me writing down everything that I feel, writing down daily affirmation, it helped me channel my energy in the right direction to turn that negative energy that comes up throughout the day into positive energy and just learning myself more just by putting my thoughts on paper and so i like to do this every morning and i jot down a couple of things in my journal and then i like to read my book so right now i am reading calm the fuck down by sarah knight and the book really focuses on how to control what you can and accept what you can't so you can stop freaking out and get on with your life and literally this book is speaking to me so i sit down for a little bit read the book highlight a couple of things that stand out to me and i might go back into my journal write down little things that I wanted to expound on what I read in the book. And then after that, I'm ready to start my day. So this is like pretty much my morning routine that I didn't get a chance to do this morning because I was in a rush. So with that being said, make sure you wake up early so you have time to channel your energy, make a positive mental state for you to just get started with your day. And I know that by me doing this lately, I have literally been having the best mornings, the best days with my clients. I'm able to fully focus in on my clients and not let my mental energy, my negative energy just cloud what I have planned for that day. All right, y'all, so for lunch, we have having Chipotle. So... One thing that I realized is whenever I'm super busy, I need to definitely start meal prepping because when the day gets to going, I don't have time to cook. So, I got half chicken, half steak. I put some corn salsa and veggies. And then I told them to put some sour cream and I like queso on my bowl. I put the queso to the side so I can measure it, log it in my app. Now, the, the downfall about eating out is you can't really be too accurate because you never know exactly how much they can put in, in the food. But what you can do is log it to your best ability, and that's what I'm doing right now. It's the queso for me. The queso really makes the bowl, y'all. Seriously. So we're going to do sour cream and queso. And it's probably the one thing I eat for a long time, y'all, because I have a 1, a 2, a 3, a 4, 30, and a 5, 30. May not even have time to work out, but I have goals. And if I have to go grab me something to eat real quick to get those goals in, that's what we're going to do. So I'm going to say enjoy this Chipotle. I'm going to log in and I'll show y'all approximately how many calories I came up with. But... It's time to dive in because before I know it, it's about 1227. I have a, at least 10, 15 minutes to get myself together before it's time for me to get ready to train. So, y'all, this is the life of a fitness trainer. Busy, 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 busy. So, here is the finished product. Ooh. All right. Core engaged, okay? All right, we got 12. Ready? Set. Go. Okay, y'all. Let's get it up. One. Two. Three. Four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Get the knees up. Ten, eleven. Eight. All right, y'all. So 
now I'm getting ready for my three o'clock appointment. And my two o'clock, we have a little time difficulties. So I was able to get in a workout. And one thing I noticed is sometimes things just don't go as planned. Like right? it's really hard to get in time for myself and get my time to my clients so the kids to wake up early which done did not do too bad okay, but that's okay because i still got my movement in which is a plus and sometimes i have to like i know one thing i had to tell myself is like some movement is better than no movement like you might have a workout that's planned and that's okay and it doesn't happen like that but as long as you get that movement in like you get up and move you feel a lot better okay so now i am getting ready for my three o'clock i have a three o'clock i have a 4 30 and then i have a 5 30 and then i have boot camp at seven so your girl is busy today and then and i'm sitting here thinking like wow well, this is the perfect day to film what a better day to film than when i'm extra busy so that y'all can see this is the reality of my life ah it's so hard to literally run a business by myself and stick to my goals but ain't nothing to a g baby i'm just kidding y'all all right so let's get ready for my three o'clock i will get some footage so y'all can see me interacting with my clients this is a small group so it's two clients that i'm training at one time i will show y'all how these girls were doing this workout it might seem like they hate me but they really love me y'all okay so i'll be can see this lifestyle is not easy at all like it's definitely a challenge taking care of your clients and taking care of yourself because self-care is like number one for me i always make sure I'm, i put in the time for me to take care of myself for me to take my rest but just so i can get a clear head space to be engaged with all of my clients throughout the day so in total let's see i trained about nine that was two people three five six six seven eight nine i tried about nine clients today and then on top of that i had four people at boot camp so it's so crazy because with the switch like for me being in the pandemic i was literally at home all the time in my house all along i didn't really interact with a lot of people so now that i'm back i'm really learning how to re-socialize because i always was a social butterfly but i want to make sure that i'm engaging with my clients and part of that is knowing that i feel good i love what i'm doing i love how i'm treating my body and i'm taking some time off and so now that i'm relaxed i'm cooking dinner it's late 
before when I was in the pandemic, I would never eat dinner this late. I was trying to eat dinner before 8 o'clock. And right now, it is 8.38. So, your girl is definitely sorry. But literally, my clients are the highlight of my day, you guys. Like, I kid you not. I could wake up in a bad mood. I don't even know why I'm in a bad mood. Just wake up in a funk and go outside. And if my clients will be, I'm going to be with them. Like, they bring me up to be. Especially because I know they care about me. And I'm, and they know I care about them. I care about their well-being, their fitness lifestyle. You know, just helping them advance through their daily lives. And so, as we get ready to prepare for the end of the day, the day is not over yet, you guys. I still have to create content. I always like to create content on the day that I'm shooting vlogs. I create content, get some content ready for Instagram. And then after that, your girl just want to sit down and eat some ice cream and watch some TV and rest these feet. My feet are crying. Okay, so quick dinner break. It's Taco Tuesday. Y'all know I love Taco Tuesday. So, I did air fried fish and shrimp tacos put a little avocado sour cream and queso on top and it was bomb but i wouldn't give up this lifestyle i love this lifestyle i love my clients i love myself for just showing my you know just showing myself every day how strong i really am and truly truth be told i love being busy I can be busy for the rest of my life until my body just won't let me be busy no more. So for you guys that are hesitating to start your journey, start moving, just think about it. It's a lot of people out there that wish that they could get up and just work. It's a lot of people that wish that they could get up and just move around, exercise. And if you have the ability to do that, do not waste it. Even if it's as simple as a walk. With that being said... Thanks for tuning in to this day of life, y'all. This is me, raw and unfiltered, right here. This is how I look after a long day of work. I have not washed my hair, and your girl is tired. But y'all know when y'all come to my channel, I like to keep it real. I'm not, I, I don't like to sugarcoat anything. I like to keep it raw. And this is raw for you. All right, with that being said, y'all know the drill. Come back and mess with your girl. Peace out.